What up y'all, it's T-Biz in the house. We got another action figure to check out. This is uh, Action Force Karak. Uh, seems like a pretty cool figure. These seem like a pretty cool line, actually, from the Action Force and the Valiverse. They seem uh, pretty much just kind of uh, DIY, really DIY, man. So yeah, Karak 0705. Look at the side of the packaging. Here's some other characters in the line. You got Condor. The Bone Collector, Steel Brigade, Swarm Trooper, Collect Action Force Series 1. Yeah, Karak and Sergeant Slaughter. They actually make a pretty cool Sergeant Slaughter. I haven't picked them up yet, but I hopefully plan to at some point. And here they got some action points you can save, all their uh, socials and stuff, and Valiverse.com. And there's some more info on the back. Packaging, packing, uh, packaging and art design. I've got it right there. All the folks. Action Force created by Bobby Vala. Or Vala, okay. Makes sense. All right, let's go ahead and rip this guy open and check him out. Comes really well packaged and looks like if you want to, you could just put him back in the package again. So it is somewhat collector uh, friendly packaging. Hmm, interesting. Let's go ahead and check him out. Here he is with all the stuffy stuff. Man, he comes with a cool helmet. That's pretty nifty. Let's see a knife. It's actually not bad detail on the knife, really, to be honest with you. That's pretty cool. Hatchet. Decent paint apps and stuff and sculpting, man. Really nice. Really nice edge on the hatchet, too. That's pretty cool, dude. Comes with this uh, pump action shotgun. So that's pretty cool, too. That is really not bad. Got a sweet holster you can attach to his back, so that's pretty cool too. It's got various like trigger fingers, kind of like a palm in hand, or cupping hand or whatever you'd say. Fist, and some extra hands right there, so that's cool too, man. Cool figure stand, it says Action Force, that's pretty neat, man. It's not really not bad detail. I like the fact that it comes with a stand. I don't know if you saw, oh, I guess you could put the, um, you cut the file card and put it in there. That's pretty dope, man. That makes sense. That's actually not a bad idea. That is pretty cool. Here's Karak himself. Might as well read his file card real quick. Forgot about the whole file thingy, but yeah. File name Richard Reginald D. Primary, M, uh, primary MOS 11A Infantry. Secondary Skills 37A. Psychological uh, Operations Officer birthplace midland texas so he's like a local dude so not local to austin but local to texas rank affiliation colonel of the garrison cool all right original richards was a career army officer who enlisted not because of his desire to serve his country but rather because of his own indignation towards his family richards grew up in a wealthy home afforded to him by his family's investment and in control of a sizable oil refinery in Texas. Richard felt slightly or slighted by his family and believed that he was being left out of the family inheritance. So rather than confront them directly, he unexpectedly enlisted in the army. His college degree guaranteed him a slot at officer candidate school where he graduated with top honors. Not satisfied with leading uh, an infantry platoon, Richards pursued a secondary MOS. And this time, this time in psychological operations, his brutal tactics earned him a reputation in combat. But he did not stop there, as he used his cunning and imagination to create havoc with his foes back home as well. When the United States fractured, New Colonia sought out Richards based on his exemplary yet vicious military record. Richards took up the mantle of Karak and led the garrison as a medieval army waging an all-out war of his own to kill anyone who got in his way. He would use the same psychological warfare tactics that he had learned in the army in order to strike fear into the hearts of his minds and enemies and coerce them into showing their hand and letting him have what was, was in it uh, all at the same time. Okay. Makes sense. Anyways, that's pretty cool, man. 
That is pretty cool. Interesting file there too, these. As I chopped that up with my reading, but oh well. Really not a bad figure. The sculpt is amazing on these. Really good detail. It's got a vest, it looks like it can come off. That's pretty cool. And even detail and sculpt inside. Yeah, really not bad. That's cool. I guess it's the logo of the garrison. It's got another pistol. So that's nifty. And these guys really aren't a bad deal. Put his knife right here. So that's pretty cool too. Really not bad. Got butterflies. Got a lot of really good articulation, double elbows. Got a hinged wrist, it looks like, but it's kind of tight. And I can't tell if it, yeah, it's hinged. And swivels. And there's really a lot going on with articulation. Diaphragm, waist, all that. Then, I guess this is a belt right here. Another belt. Got splits. Drop hips. So there you go. There's a cut right above the upper thigh. Then you got, man, these are really tight joints too, man. Um, double knees, boot cut, and it looks like you got a rocker, rocker pivot swivel and all that. So I don't know if it will swivel, but we'll find out. There we go. Okay, cool. Wow, man, really a lot going on. That is crazy. Really tight too. That's pretty cool that uh, the joints are so freaking tight. Really not bad at all. Really not bad. Well worth it, man. And here we have him posed up. Man, this is pretty cool. This is a good line, dude. I really think it is. I might pick up some more of these just because they, they kind of rival uh, G.I. Joe classifieds and stuff. And they go well with probably like, you know, maybe even some of your uh, Marvel Legends and stuff like that. We do need to do size comparisons at some point, but... I thought we'd just get him kind of posed up, man. He looks looks pretty dope. Poses well. Accessories work pretty good. Love that gladiator style helmet. That's really cool. Or medieval style, whatever you want to call it. Kind of reminds me of MF Doom a little bit. And um, this little holster doesn't stay in that well. But there's ways to fix that. All of his accessories fit. He's got that extra pistol. Really, really nice, man really freaking nice figure and uh yeah man it's it's all there in the package dude just great sculpt tight joints like all kinds of articulation accessories it's, yeah this is a win-win figure as far as i'm concerned man i haven't done anything really this new in a while but it's very cool man very welcome very welcome man to the channel and just to the collection too very awesome we have a size comparison with uh, Marvel Legends and um, G.I. Joe Classified. Seems to fit pretty well with these figures, man. They, they, they're pretty on par, man. I thought, I know my buddy Overlord was saying, ah, uh, you know, Classified seems a little bit bigger. But, I mean, if they're a little bit smaller, it's it's not by that much, really. I mean, they, they pretty much fit pretty well with that. And with Marvel Legends as well, so that's pretty cool. You can totally have them all within that line. That's pretty rad. Well, let's look at Karak from Action Force by Valiverse. Very, very cool stuff. You can get these guys on Big Bad Toy Store. I forget the price, I'll have to look that up in a minute. Yeah, they go for a whopping $31.99 plus shipping and tax or whatever, so really not a bad deal from Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, go ahead and hit them up while you can still find these figures, man, because um, they're actually starting to move pretty well. Anyway, so thanks for watching y'all. Let me know what you think about this figure, whether it's a pass or something you go for. And um, yeah, once again, thanks for tuning in and y'all take it easy. All right, laters.